A lot of you have been wanting to know what has it been like our first few weeks living in the bus. So we decided to create a video just for that. We're gonna talk about the good, bad, what would we do different, what are we doing fabulously. First, one of the good things, our power systems. Absolutely working great. All our power systems. The solar is powering everything it's supposed to. Everything but the AC and the heat. The AC, when we plug in somewhere, that's working great. All we got to do is plug in. It takes over. We can run one of our ACs and we can run a heater. The generator as well. To get the generator to power something, we've used the AC as we drive. All you got to do is push this button. Hold it down until it warms up. It is a diesel, so it's got to warm up the glow plugs. Then it starts, and you can run everything. You can run both ACs, everything on the generator. It doesn't cost any more fuel uh, to run everything as opposed to just one thing. We had to use it at the first farm where we didn't have good power, and it came very handy. It's not very sp expensive. It's very economical. Worked out great. The water system has been working great. We haven't had any problems with it at all. The filters are filtering wonderfully. I've really enjoyed cooking in the bus. Everything is working great. We just open this window and the window across the way so that there's a nice cross breeze. It helps just keep an airflow in here while we're cooking. Stove is working fabulous. We had some issues with it getting it converted over from natural gas to propane. Since we did that, it's worked out fabulous. I really like how the kitchen is set up. We have a good amount of counter space. The The tools that I need are all, of course, within reach because it's so small. I, I just think the workflow works yeah. really well. We also have a rig for cooking outside. We have a little stove top and a propane tank. That worked great. We cooked the bacon in there. We you don't want to cook bacon type, greasy type stuff in here. Our grease and the fume get everywhere. It was, he did cook bacon in here. I didn't know that. It was kind of I didn't gross. get that memo. It got, um, so. it got really stinky. I here. cooked, so I cooked three pounds of bacon at once outside mm -hmm. and then it was cool to just reheat it in here. That worked right. out good. I've really enjoyed living tiny. It's been super easy to clean. We don't have much stuff. Let's talk toilet system. This has been working out amazing. This is super easy to em empty just to the urine. The poop chute is easy to empty too. If we're on a farm we can put it out in the back 40 or we can uh, put it in a compost pile. It, we make we mixed it with coconut core. You do your business, then you turn it. And there are some places I haven't been able to put it on the ground, so I bagged it and put it in the trash. I don't like doing that, but that was that's fine, and it worked out great. And I've had to change it when we're full time in the bus. Right now we're staying at our friend's house, so we're going inside a bit. I would say I changed it what every four or five days. We've all rinsed off in the shower. Well, nobody's taking any baths, but we've used that to rinse off been great it's because it's so big works out good for that also our hosts have accommodated us and invited us to take showers and baths so we've taken them up on that speaking of hosts we have had some amazing hosts they obviously let us park in their driveway or on their property and they've been letting us use the washing machine they've been feeding us amazing meals and bathing letting the kids take a bath or justin or i take a shower so we have just been very blessed with the people that we've stayed with so far if the rest of the tour is anything like this then we're going to be well taken care of and we're extremely appreciative of that also wi-fi yeah we've used the wi-fi at all these places they've all had pretty good wi-fi i know that's not going to be the case everywhere yeah. we are aware of that we have the little wi-fi hotspot yeah, we, that we we've have. only had to use it a little bit when we've traveled yeah or our phone hotspots, but not much at all. Yeah, so we we feel very, very, very blessed and thankful that people have been so kind to us. So there's all the good stuff. There are some bad. Of course there's gonna be some bad. We had to say something. So the first thing is, is we do miss our well water. It is amazing and, well, other water isn't as good. <laughs> Somebody said in the comments of the tour video, did you hit your head? Sometimes we hit our head on this lamp in particular. And when we're sleeping that way, sometimes we hit our head on that lamp. And when we sleep that way, sometimes we hit our head on that cabinet. I think that's something we just have to get used to. Not the hitting of the head part, but used to that, hey wait, there's a lamp right here. I'm not gonna go there. I'm gonna go around. Once, we locked ourselves out because somehow this, this door lock got right in the middle. 
So for some reason I didn't like it and you could not open that no matter what and we didn't have a key on us. This is a keyless entry and we didn't have the key. So now I put the key, the physical key on our keychain so that won't happen again. The day we actually left and successfully made it out of the hauler, I sat down in this seat and the seat belt, oh look, it's doing it now. The seat belt wouldn't come out and I was like, great, this is a brand new seat, this already isn't working. And I realized the kids had been messing with the air level and I, as soon as I started pushing the air to adjust the seat, I guess it needs some air pressure for the seat belt to work. So I did figure that out and I think that represents things throughout the bus of us just all, sometimes all it is is us just figuring it out because it's all new. So it's not necessarily bad, it's just a learning curve. The last bad thing we want to mention is leveling. I've found out right now there are no level spots in this world. If there are not any level spots in Florida, I don't know where there's going to be some. Maybe at an RV park or something. So we've been having to put it on blocks or just go with it. Yeah. But it's not been that bad. It does rock. When you walk. So that made me a little nauseous at first. I don't know what it was, but I would be like, it would just feel weird well, when seasick, someone was walking and I was laying in bed or whatever. I was like, oh, kind of like a boat. Like it's wobbling now a little bit. Yeah, while moving. but I've finally gotten used to it. And so that's over. Thank goodness. Got your sailor legs now. I did. <laughs> what would we do different? What would you say the first thing would be? I think it would be that we would have gotten this whole show on the road sooner. We would have started the bus sooner so yeah. we could have left sooner. But, you know. You can well, it took so longer much. than we imagined, yeah, too, but you know that but now. everything takes longer yeah. than, you know. This just took way longer than we thought. Mm -hmm. I think we would have put flatter lights in right there at least, right, well, Rebecca? Well, I put it on the wall. Okay. Where it was going to be, and then I had them change it. <laughs> okay, that well. Okay, we would have went with our original plan and put it on the wall. Wall lights back here as well. Maybe instead of two lights right over our heads, maybe one just right there in the middle. And a drain in the middle of the tub instead of at the edge of the tub. See, it's kind of darker in here. A light in this hallway. We do have these. I don't think there's any like battery power that you can just like hit and they turn on. There but, are. Oh, there are? There so are we're gonna have to get some of those. Better. But we would have liked to have some hardware in. We've got these automatic lights, but it's gotta be dark and you gotta walk under it. And we would have done a smaller bathtub. It's just too much for what we need. Some things that are working out fabulously is the idea that we pulled the car because we can all ride in here together, we've got the car behind us, and when we park, we can use the car to go into town or do whatever. It would be a nightmare to try to drive this bus. We just connect the bus to the water and the power, and then we get in the car and we go. It's yeah. hard to drive this bus in the city. It would have been near impossible. I mean, we just wouldn't go, please. And you don't want to hook it up and unhook it. No, it's horrible. It would have been horrible. The other thing is the backup camera. Not because I can back up, but because I can see behind me. There's a blind spot there, and I can see the car pulled behind me. I look at that thing all the time. The seat, besides getting it, figuring it out in the beginning, it's so cool. It's so comfortable, so great. It's my little captain's chair. I love it. I'm absolutely loving that my kids have less stuff. They are playing so much outside. Everywhere we visit, those people have toys. They just don't need as much stuff as we had at our house. I love my kitchen. It is everything that I hoped it would be. It is absolutely fabulous. The beds. The beds. Love the beds. They are super, super comfortable. Every night after a long day, of filming, editing, and having fun, we get to crash in those, and man, it's just amazing. I just can't say how fabulous they are. 